Hello everybody and welcome to my nine years on YouTube anniversary special. So as of the 22nd of September 2018, I have been on YouTube for the last nine years, which as you are probably aware is quite the achievement. So I've created this video in order to share my enthusiasm for the last nine years with you and hopefully to discuss the future of YouTube and discuss the future of this channel as well and discuss what this channel has meant to me over the last nine years. So first of all, the scale of YouTube has absolutely exploded over the last nine years, as you're probably aware. So if you want some statistics, then at the moment there are one billion people who have a YouTube account and there are 5 billion videos being watched on a daily basis, which is rather incredible. This is all the more incredible for me because back in 2009, the thought of there being 5 billion people watching, watching videos on YouTube around the world just seemed absolutely ridiculous. And it's just incredible that it's got to this point. So furthermore, over the last um, two years, except from when I made my seven years on YouTube video, I have managed to accumulate 1,100 views over the last two years, which works out at about 550 views a year, which is rather impressive, personally. Um, at this point, I, I would have liked to have gotten more views but I'm not necessarily annoyed by the amount of views I've got. I feel it's a, it's a good number really. And having accumulated 5,824 views over the last nine years is quite impressive, especially because I didn't think I'd be making YouTube videos for this long a time frame, and, and I especially didn't think I would be making, still making videos on this channel nine years ago. Over the last nine years I have uploaded 59 videos and two of which are private. This means I've uploaded about st about six uploads a year which works out at about one upload every nine weeks which is rather impressive um, considering I've got I've had so many things to deal with alongside my YouTube channel and that that's quite impressive for me really. Even though my kind of upload schedule hasn't been as regular as I would have liked it to, I have certainly been making films for other people and I've been making more professional films and I've been making films for myself as well because I am now hoping to pursue filmmaking as a career and I am hoping to have a career as a film editor. So, if you include the films I've made for other people, the total amount of films I've made over the last nine years works out about 83. And then 83 videos in, in nine years works out at about one video every six weeks, which is definitely impressive. And, and that kind of upload schedule is comparable to that of very successful, popular YouTubers and I, I am really, really happy with that upload schedule and I'm sure if, say, I was a more popular YouTuber, my subscribers would also be happy with that upload schedule. So certainly for the future of this channel, I would like to create more stop motion animations. I would also like to have a go at creating a proper walkthrough of a video game and I think this video game is going to be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2. And I know that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2 isn't the most popular game anymore, but it's certainly my favourite video game. And I would really love to do a walkthrough of it, even if it's just in one long go, rather than broke up into separate videos. I really want to do a, a walkthrough of Pokemon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2, because it's something that I've always kind of said I wanted to do. Um, even when I created the YouTube channel back in 2009. One of the things I said I wanted to do was to do a walkthrough of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can't find the game, which is a bit weird because I've kept most of my other Nintendo DS games, which I've had for the last nine years. So quite why I've got rid of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2, which is probably one of my favorite games I've ever played. 
Um, I'm not sure, but I'll have to try and find it. And if I can't find it, I'll just see if I can buy the game somewhere and I'll just play it all the way through. Also, in total, I've managed to accumulate 5,824 views, which, although it doesn't seem like an awful lot, um, if we're applying this to a kind of old media perspective, such as cinema or, 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 or radio or television, then we can assume that there are 100 people in the average cinema, meaning that I have managed to have my films shown in approximately 58 cinemas. If we assume that as a hundred people in a cinema, which is rather impressive um, and certainly something that I'm really happy with. In the future, I'm also hoping to create some more meme content. On one final note, even though I haven't been uploading to Spacey3688 as much as I would have liked to be, have been, it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop making films. I will continue making films and making animations and making walkthroughs, even if it's not necessarily for this channel, it, even if they are for different channels or for different individuals. I'm not going to stop making films. I am also hoping to create a brand new YouTube channel at some point, which is going to be very professional, it's going to be very scripted, and I'm very excited to see the channel start up because I haven't actually created it yet. But I'm not going to tell you guys about this channel because I kind of want to go from scratch and I want to see how far this channel can go without any sort of big external help, such as my Spacey3688 YouTube channel. Okay, so I guess that's it, and I am excited for the next nine years, which will be when I am 30. And will I still be creating videos when I'm 30? That's, that's, that's an incredible question. I'd like to think that I would still be making videos when I'm 30, and we'll see what 30 year old me creates okay so this was a particularly short video and i'm sorry about the length i appreciate it's not a kind of big 50 minute upload but um i am very happy with what with how the channel is going and i am excited to see what happens to the channel in the future